What I want to know is you're a hammer. You come from a distinguished family. You dropped out of high school to pursue yeah. your acting. You dropped out of college to pursue your acting. Yes. What did your parents say then? And um, come on, what are they saying now? Well, needless to say, uh, they were not happy. When I dropped out of high school, uh, they were furious. But they were like, okay, look, you want to do this acting thing. You have a year to do it. And I was like, a year? Great. I can do this in a year. Of course, a year goes by. Nothing happens. And they're like, okay, you're going to college. And I was like, oh. So I went to college for a little bit and then just knew that this is what I wanted to do. So I, I dropped out of college again. And they were just, they were so mad. They're like, fine, you're doing it, but you're on your own now. And I was like, okay, fine, you know. And uh, they thought I was just trying to drop out until, you know, I started to have success at this and started to show them this is what I was passionate about. And I wasn't doing this so I could just, like, sit in my room all day and hang out. This is what I really wanted to do more than anything. So, and now with this role, what yeah. are you saying? Now they're happy. The now door's got to be flying open. I bet totally. there's some opportunity. Totally. Scripts thrown at you. Yeah. 24 years old and married. Okay, yes. that's a young, young, you got married at, tw at 23. Yeah, I did. So why so young? Were, were the parents behind you on that one? Or did they say, hey, live a little bit, kid? Dude, I always thought, like, there will never be one woman worth giving up all the others. That was just always my attitude. And were there a lot of others, Army? Let's be honest. Uh, well, that's not what we're here to discuss. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello. Uh, but what I will say is that was always my attitude until I met my wife. And then I was like, if I let this get away, I will f kick myself forever. And uh, I knew that she was worth it, and I had to marry her. What was the wedding like? It was amazing. It was beautiful. Did you go was... big? Did you go small? Well, I wanted to elope, and she wanted to have 500 people. So we settled somewhere in the middle at about 486. <laughs> and uh, it was huge. You're I mean, a good just a monstrosity. Man. Follow yeah. the wife. I didn't have much of a choice. Yeah. <laughs> Outstanding. And by the way, what were your responsibilities at the, were you, did you do name cards or did you get to do oh, oh, flowers? I, or? My wife uh, is, very, is very type A and organized and likes lists and likes to make sure everything's done right. And I'm just the kind of guy who's like, where's my wallet? Where's my phone? Did I lose everything? <laughs> so, uh, so she didn't trust me to do much. So she was just like, can you not mess this up? And I'm like, yeah, I can do this. And she's like, Good, that's your responsibility. Go. That was it. Outstanding. Yeah. Hammer. Yeah. Army Hammer. Hey, uh, do, do you ever talk to Winkle Vosses at all? Have you talked to him recently? Yeah, the, we email Facebook? every now and then. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So it's funny seeing. Are they uh, happy with the way things? Yeah. What are they saying yeah, now? Yeah, they're they're happy. They're thrilled. I think uh, you know their side of the story was presented with some sort of perspective and truth. So I think they're happy about that. I yeah. think Army made him a little cooler too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, 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 well, you brought some cool to them. But right. you haven't met them. They're pretty cool guys. That's true. Catch a double dose of Army in the Social Network. It's in theaters right now. He's great in it.